Uh, I don't. I mean, you know, the way the program should work is you should always have to convince the coaches. You know, I mean, if we're a true competitive program. Um, you know, that's the way it should be at every position. So, um, you know, but I think, uh, you know, I'm confident that I can get, obviously get in the game. Like I said, I've, you know, as much as I've, you know, missed full contact reps, I've stayed engaged uh, mentally and uh, stayed in shape and stuff like that. So, uh, you know, it's really just a matter of taking this week, um, you know, getting the contact side of it down, uh, going, you know, obviously taking tomorrow off, getting a little more rehab, and then, you know, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and, you know, really just getting used to the hitting tempo and stuff like that. Uh, but no, I'm, I'm, I'm for sure confident in myself. Lane said that regardless of who starts, he's going to play more players this year than last year. How do you think that can help the defense, especially in those late game situations? It's good. You know, that's something that uh, he talked about today in our team meeting and something that we lacked last year. Um, you know, by playing more players, uh, you know, obviously you're going to want certain guys in at certain times situationally and, you know, the, the you know, the name starter or the, the veteran or whoever it is in there, you know, in a two minute or a situation where, you know, experience calls sort of, but, uh, you know, for, for the ability to have our twos and some of these younger guys to get in there and take 25 plays off of us, um, you know, off at the starters and, you know, the difference between playing 40 plays and playing 75 plays and when it's the fourth quarter in a two minute situation, you know, it's huge. So. How does Minnesota look? They look good. You know, we haven't really been watching too I mean, much Minnesota Northern tape. Illinois. Yeah, it's been all Northern Illinois. So, uh, um, but uh, you know, we're expecting uh, you know them to come out, you know, with gun flying, and uh, you know they're going to do everything they can to beat us. So um, it's going to be a challenge for us, and uh, you know, especially you know in this 12:30 uh, you know time, with this weather and stuff, it's going to be a fun game. Whose offense is, is most similar to theirs? From teams that you faced last year. Um, you know, UCLA did a little bit of what they do. UCLA tried the pistol deal, and um, you know, obviously they've they've got their spread packages. You know, they'll they'll uh, go and put their you know their big wide receiver hybrid guy back at quarterback and try to you know they run a little wildcat, and then you know they've got a little more conventional quarterback that'll come in and air the ball out a little bit. So we're just preparing for everything. Um, you know, the good thing is that we hopefully we do see some spread and you know some quarterback option read and all that stuff. So you know. It's the type of stuff we're going to see all, all the rest of the season. So. Would you rather play a spread team or, or a more traditional offense? I don't think you really have a choice these days. You know, I think regardless of you know what conference you're in, you're looking to play at least five or six spread teams a year. You know, so um, you know, I mean, as a linebacker, you usually you don't want to be chasing around fast quarterbacks. You know, so you prefer some somewhat more of a conventional pro style offense like like ours. But uh, you know, it really doesn't matter.